when you're putting work on a, on a prospect or a current customer, it's like you have to do extra steps and most people don't want to do extra steps. I don't want to do extra steps if I don't have to. So why would we put that on our clients? So I know one of the strategies agencies always use if they're getting shopped is, and this is on new business or a remarket when somebody says, hey, I my rates went up, I already got another quote. What can you guys do about it? is let me see the quote. And I got to be honest with you, this is like slightly insulting. And I always ask agents, well, how many people send it? And when I hear a lot, I'm like, that's not a number. What percentage? And usually it's somewhere maybe like 30, 40%. Because when they've already shopped, that re- that is a sign of a poor relationship, right? So we need to instead understand that they have another quote, you're quoting higher, which happens. You want to compare it to what I call the apples to apples, which... I can't stand apples to apples. There's so many different types of apples. They could be quoting with a crappy company and you're quoting with a good company. And what does it matter if it's the same type of apple at that point in time? There's also so many different coverages baked in. There's different underwriters. There's different claim services. So I can't get behind the apples to apples conversation. I get it. Got to make sure they have the same liability limits. That's great. But what if you shared screens and showed people and said, here's what we have. Here's what Defend your quote and educate them on your quote. But what we're saying is one, you probably quoted wrong and that's why it's cheaper because we're the best. And that's snotty and arrogant. Two, if they went online and got their own quote, you're kind of calling them stupid. Like you don't know how to quote. So we do. So I bet you your quotes got holes in it. And again, some people do this better than others and some clients receive it differently. But I always say, how about we just go through this? So as you're looking at the quote, you can question what X, Y, Z is. We have your personal contents at 100,000. You know, if they have lower than this, remember we talked about the this and the that and the blah, 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 blah. Your deductible is at 1,000. Oh, they put you at a $2,500 deductible. We could do that too. But you said 1,000 was comfortable. It sounds like this quote might not be tailored to you. It might just be a generic quote where this one is. Oh, do you know if they asked them if they ran your MVRs? Oh, they didn't. Funny, because I know about your speeding ticket. So you have to, instead of work your quote, then asking for theirs. Again, you're putting work on a, on a prospect or a current customer. It's like, you have to do extra steps. And most people don't want to do extra steps. I don't want to do extra steps if I don't have to. So why would we put that on our clients? And I think also too, when we're doing that, it's just delaying the sale. I'd much rather keep them on the phone, keep them talking and say, pull the quote up that if you have it, let's just go through it. Do they have this? Do they have this? Do that versus send me the quote. And then you take a day or two and go back and forth. Like the person just wants to handle their insurance. And so I would say very, very difficult, very delicate to say, show me the quote, as opposed to working through your own quote and defending your own work.